Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Virtual Network Peering. So peering will allow you to connect from one network to another network. So let's say we have a question about how we can allow traffic between two virtual networks. By default, the VNets from one VNet to another VNet, the communication is fully blocked. That means it will not, it, it will be a completely in isolated networks. So uh, how you can allow if you can you know think about the within Microsoft there are two possible options the first one would be the Azure VPN gateways so where you configure a VPN connectivity from your one network to another network and then the traffic can be routed so this will be very useful in terms of if you are trying to enable communication from your on-premises to one of the virtual network then the Azure VPN gateways will be used. So uh, we are going to learn in this lecture about Azure VNet peering. So let's understand about uh, with the definition side what's the major difference between VPN gateways and the v VNet peering. So the major difference is like uh, the traffic will go over the internet that means it's the public network so we will be using some kind of encryption method uh, because we wanted to connect to our on-premises network. So then we are going to use Azure VPN gateways. Whereas with the VNet peering, so anything, it can be from one region to another region or within the same region, the VNets can be peered. So and the traffic uh, will be within Microsoft Azure network because the VNets are part of your Azure network right so from the same Microsoft network the traffic is routing or traffic it, the traffic is reaching from one end to another end so that's the uh, that's why you can expect very low latency and high bandwidth connectivity between these your VNets uh, by having the VNet peering so that's the uh, advantage so the major advantage I can say here even the region wise different regions also can be peed so let's have a look on a simple uh, understanding of these statements uh, you have a vnet here with the 10 uh, 10.0.0.0 slash 16 with a few of the vms and also you have another vnet within your subscription or maybe a different subscription or different region altogether so here I talked about the different region different uh, subscription still you can do the vnet to vnet peering and uh, here a different uh, IP addresses uh, like here 10.1.0.0 slash 24 so by default these two cannot communicate even though they are part of Azure virtual networks so what you can do is when you do something called virtual network peering it will enables you to seamlessly connect with two of these networks so that these virtual machines can communicate with these machines and similarly these virtual machines can be configured or can be communicated with these um, class 16 specific IP address range machines also so by default uh, it, it doesn't happen this so you need to configure the virtual network peering so that's the major advantage and if you look at the support type as we talked earlier you can go for virtual network peering even globally uh, across different Azure regions or across different subscriptions also if at all you have the permissions and having the benefits if you look at the benefits the first one would be the definitely the low latency and high bandwidth connectivity between your resources in a different virtual networks and also that you will have the ability for your resources in one virtual network to communicate uh, with other resources in a different virtual network that's a main idea of virtual network peering and definitely this all this uh, supports the ARM that's as your resource manager to classic also but nobody uses these days classic deployment model so that point may be ignored but ARM is fully supported and you can do configuration with CLI PowerShell and portal this entire configuration and uh, there's no downtime for configuring this as your virtual network peering so if we look at other type of designs like uh, hub and spoke type model if you look at here what happens is you have a spoke one virtual network you also have the spoke two virtual network these are the two different virtual networks so what you can do is you can have one more network called hub network for example so these two networks can be peered with another network 
and these networks will have some kind of maybe a subnet gateway so what happens is with the subnet gateway you have a VPN connectivity like site to site VPN connectivity or maybe a point to site kind of you know, connectivity so that what would happen is all the traffic will reach here from here to your own premises network can be uh, send the traffic so in uh, another way at the high level all the machines can communicate with each other since we have the VPN gateways here so that's the advantage so that's the highest design what we can talk so let's jump into uh, a quick demo uh, before we jump into the demonstration I wanted to enforce that um, this is what we're going to create within our lab configuration so what I'm going to do is I'll be creating two resource groups called RG1 that's a resource group 1 and another resource group 2 and within this resource group I'll create a virtual network here called RG1 VNet1 and also another virtual network in the RG2 that's a resource group 2 RG2 VNet2 so these are the two different VNets so what would happen is by default you will not have the communication uh, enabled so what we do is uh, within this VNet will create a VM called VM01 also VM02 and we log into these VMs and we'll try to ping with each other in fact we will disable the or we will enable the ICMP protocol uh, within the Windows firewall of these two operating systems then we do the ping so when we do the ping the ping request time dot will come by default from each other so when uh, when we do the when we perform the vnet to vnet peering that's from this vnet to this vnet it's nothing but your virtual network here rg1 to rg2 um, while configuring you have the option of the two-way or one-way also so we do the two-way so that the once the peering happens actually the traffic will be allowed and the ping response will come automatically that's what we are gonna perform within this lab so here one virtual machine we will configure with the 10.0.04 other one will be with maybe 10.1.04 so and uh, the, these are the resources which I'm gonna perform within the Azure portal so please check out the next lecture on this specific demo thank you